Dear friends, this video is part one of basic skill of crusher plant. Useful to construction professional and technicians working in construction and mining machines. In this video, we will discuss about a overview of the crusher plant and its components and functions. B. Types of crushers and their working principles. C. Importance of proper plant operation and maintenance. D. Importance of safety in crusher plant operations. Now we will start presenting different topic. A. Overview of the crusher plant and its components and functions. A crusher plant is a facility that processes various types of rock, materials, and minerals into aggregate or other useful materials used in construction and other industries. It typically consists of several components and functions that work together to efficiently process raw materials into the desired end products. Here's an overview of the typical components and their functions in a crusher plant. 1. Primary Crusher The primary crusher is the first machine in the crushing process. It reduces the size of large rocks and ores into smaller pieces. Common types of primary crushers include jaw crushers and gyratory crushers. The main function of the primary crusher is to break the raw material down to a size that can be handled by the secondary crushers. 2. Secondary Crusher After the primary crusher, secondary crushers further redu reduce the size of the material. They take smaller pieces of rock or ore and make them even smaller. Common secondary crushers include cone crushers, impact crushers, and roll crushers. The secondary crushers refine the material into a more uniform size for further processing. 3. Tertiary Crusher Tertiary crushers are used to produce even finer and smaller sizes of material. They are often used in the final stages of the crushing process. Tertiary crushers help produce the final product shape and size required for specific applications. 4. Screens Screens are used to separate the crushed materials into different sizes or grades. Vibrating screens or other types of screening equipment are used to classify the materials based on their size. This helps ensure that the final product meets the desired specifications. 5. Conveyor Systems Conveyor belts and systems transport the processed materials between different stages of the crushing process. They also move the material from the crushers to stockpiles or further processing areas. Conveyors help maintain a continuous flow of material throughout the plant. 6. Feeders Feeders control the flow of raw materials into the crushers. They regulate the rate at which materials are fed, ensuring a consistent and controlled supply of material to the crushers. This helps optimize the efficiency of the crushing process. 7. Crushing Chamber The crushing chamber is the area within the crusher where the actual crushing takes place. The shape and design of the chamber can impact the final product's size and shape. 8. Control System Modern crusher plants are equipped with advanced control systems that monitor and regulate various aspects of the crushing process. These systems help optimize production, monitor equipment performance, and ensure safe and efficient operation. 9. Dust Suppression System crushing, crushing operations can generate a significant amount of dust. Dust suppression systems are employed to minimize the airborne dust particles, ensuring a safer and healthier work environment for plant operators and nearby residents. 10. Storage and Stockpiles Once the materials are processed, they are often stored in stockpiles or bins before being transported for further use. Proper storage helps ensure a consistent supply of materials for various applications. 11. Maintenance and Inspection Areas Crusher plants have designated areas for maintenance and inspection of equipment. Regular maintenance and inspections are essential to keep the plant running smoothly and prevent unplanned downtime. 12. Washing and Screening in some cases, crusher plants also include washing and screening processes to remove impurities and produce specific types of aggregate products with desired properties. Overall, a crusher plant plays a crucial role in processing raw materials into usable products for construction, manufacturing, and other industries. The efficient functioning of each component within the plant is essential for achieving high-quality end products and optimizing production processes. 
b. Types of crushers and their working principles. There are several types of crushers used in various industries to process different types of materials. Each type of crusher operates on a unique principle to achieve the desired crushing outcome. Here are some common types of crushers and their working principles. 1. Jaw crusher. A jaw crusher uses a compressive force to break down materials. It consists of a fixed jaw and a movable jaw that move back and forth to apply pressure on the material, gradually reducing its size. The material is fed into the crushing chamber and is crushed between the jaws. Jaw crushers are primarily used for primary crushing. 2. Gyratory crusher. A gyratory crusher is similar in basic concept to a jaw crusher, but with a different spindle design and higher crushing chamber. The material is fed into a conical-shaped crushing chamber, and the gyrating motion of the spindle crushes the material against the stationary walls. Gyratory crushers are used for primary and secondary crushing. 3. Cone crusher. A cone crusher operates on the principle of squeezing the material between an eccentrically gyrating spindle and a concave surface. The material is fed into the crushing chamber, where it is compressed and crushed as it moves downward. Cone crushers are commonly used for secondary and tertiary crushing. 4. Impact crusher. An impact crusher uses impact force to break down materials. It consists of a rotor that rotates at high speed and a horizontal impact chamber. When the material enters the chamber, it is struck by the rotating rotor, causing it to break into smaller pieces. Impact crushers are versatile and can be used for primary, secondary, and tertiary crushing. 5. Hammer Crusher A hammer crusher uses a series of hammers to crush materials. The hammers are mounted on a rotating shaft and swing freely to impact the material. The size of the crushed particles is determined by the size of the gaps between the hammers and the impact plates. Hammer crushers are often used for coal and soft materials. 6. Roll Crusher A roll Roll crusher consists of two horizontally rotating cylinders that crush materials by compressing them between the cylinders. The material is drawn into the gap between the rolls and is crushed as it moves downward. Roll crushers are used for primary and secondary crushing of materials that are relatively soft. 7. VSI, Vertical Shaft Impactor, Crusher VSI crushers use a high-speed rotor and anvils for impact crushing. The material is fed into the rotor and accelerated rapidly, colliding with the anvils and breaking into smaller fragments. VSI crushers are primarily used for producing fine aggregates and artificial sand. 8. Cage Mill Cage mills are designed for heavy-duty crushing of materials through impact and shear forces. They consist of a series of cages with rotating shafts that impact the material against the cage walls. Cage mills are used for coarse and medium-fine crushing. 9. Cone Crusher, Hydraulic Hydraulic cone crushers operate using the principles of hydraulic pressure. The crushing process is controlled by the hydraulic system, which adjusts the size of the discharge opening to control the product size. These are just a few examples of the many types of crushers available. Each type operates on a distinct principle to achieve efficient and effective crushing of various materials. The choice of crusher depends on factors such as the type of material, desired product size, and required capacity. C. Importance of proper crusher plant operation and maintenance. Proper crusher plant operation and maintenance are crucial for several reasons, as they directly impact the efficiency, safety, and profitability of the entire crushing process and the overall functioning of the plant. Here's why proper operation and maintenance are so important. 1. Optimized production and efficiency. Well-maintained crushers operate at their optimal capacity, ensuring a consistent and efficient production process. Regular maintenance helps identify and address issues that can lead to decreased throughput, downtime, and reduced overall productivity. 2. Equipment longevity. Proper operation and maintenance extend the lifespan of crushers and other plant components. Regular inspections, lubrication, and part replacements prevent premature wear and tear, reducing the need for costly equipment replacements and repairs. 3. Cost Savings 
Efficient operation and regular maintenance help minimize downtime and prevent unscheduled shutdowns. This reduces production losses and avoids the need for emergency repairs, which can be expensive and disruptive. 4. Safety of personnel. A well-maintained crusher plant is safer for operators and maintenance personnel. Faulty equipment can pose safety risks, leading to accidents or injuries. Regular maintenance and safety checks ensure that equipment is functioning properly and is safe to operate. 5. Product quality. Properly maintained crushers produce consistent and high-quality end products. Regular maintenance helps ensure that the desired product specifications are met, avoiding variations that might result from poorly maintained equipment. 6. Environmental compliance. Some crusher plants generate dust, noise, and other emissions during operation. Regular maintenance can help control these emissions and minimize the plant's environmental impact, ensuring compliance with regulations and community standards. 7. Energy efficiency. Well-maintained equipment operates more efficiently, consuming less energy per ton of material processed. This can result in energy cost savings and a smaller carbon footprint. 8. Prevention of catastrophic failures. Neglect, neglected maintenance can lead to major breakdowns and catastrophic failures, causing extended downtime and expensive repairs. Regular maintenance and inspections help identify potential issues early, allowing for timely repairs or replacements. 9. Optimal performance. Properly maintained crushers operate with consistent performance, producing uniform product sizes and shapes. This is especially important in industries where product consistency is critical, such as concrete and asphalt production. 10. Resale value. Well-maintained equipment retains its resale value. If the time comes to upgrade or replace the crusher plant, a well-maintained unit will command a higher resale price. 11. Employee morale. A well-maintained and efficiently operating plant creates a more positive work environment for employees. Smooth operations reduce frustration and stress for plant personnel, leading to increased job satisfaction. 12. Operational flexibility. Regular maintenance allows for planned downtime, which can be scheduled during off-peak hours or when demand is lower. This ensures that maintenance activities do not disrupt the plant's overall operational schedule. In conclusion, proper crusher plant operation and maintenance are essential for maximizing efficiency, safety, and profitability. Regular inspections, preventive maintenance, and timely repairs help ensure that the plant functions smoothly, produces high-quality products, and contributes to a safe and productive work environment. D. Importance of safety in crusher plant operations. Safety is of paramount importance in crusher plant operations. Prioritizing safety not only protects the well-being of employees and contractors but also contributes to efficient and productive operations. Here's why safety is crucial in a crusher plant. 1. Personnel Protection 1A. Safety measures safeguard employees and contractors from potential hazards, such as moving mach machinery, falling objects, and exposure to dust and noise. 1B. Proper training and adherence to safety protocols reduce the risk of accidents, injuries, and fatalities. 2. Legal and regulatory compliance. Compliance with safety regulations, such as Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, standards, is mandatory and helps avoid legal liabilities and penalties. 3. Morale and well-being. A safe work environment boosts morale and job satisfaction, leading to higher employee retention and a positive workplace culture. 4. Equipment integrity. Proper safety practices minimize equipment damage and breakdowns caused by mishandling or negligence. 5. Production efficiency. Safe operations lead to smoother workflows and fewer disruptions, optimizing production and reducing downtime due to accidents or injuries. 6. Preventive maintenance. Safety protocols often involve routine inspections and maintenance, which help identify and address potential issues before they lead to breakdowns or accidents. 7. Emergency preparedness. 
A focus on safety ensures that personnel are trained in emergency procedures and can respond effectively to incidents. 8. Public Perception and Reputation A commitment to safety enhances the reputation of the company, fostering trust among employees, clients, and the community. 9. Environmental Stewardship Safety measures often coincide with environmental protection efforts, such as dust suppression and proper waste management. 10. Cost Savings Investing in safety measures may incur upfront costs, but it prevents more significant expenses related to accidents, injuries, equipment damage, and regulatory fines. 11. Continuous Improvement a safety-oriented mindset encourages ongoing evaluation and improvement of processes, procedures, and equipment. 12. Training and Skill Development Safety training provides employees with valuable skills and knowledge that contribute to their personal and professional growth. 13. Risk Management A safety-first approach identifies and mitigates risks associated with crusher operations, reducing the likelihood of incidents. 14. Leadership and Communication Demonstrating a commitment to safety by leadership sets a positive example and promotes open communication about potential hazards. 15. Adaptation to Change Safety protocols ensure that employees are prepared to handle changes in equipment, processes, or regulations. Incorporating safety into all aspects of crusher plant operations is an ethical responsibility that not only protects people but also enhances the overall performance and success of the operation. It requires continuous vigilance, training, communication, and a commitment to creating a culture where safety is everyone's top priority. Friends we have explained in brief about overview of the crusher plant with its working principle, also, importance of proper operation, maintenance, and safety in crusher operation. We request all to mention your view and requirement in comments section of YouTube video also like and share to your friend. Also subscribe our YouTube channel Inframechanizer, this is 100% free.